Since really anyone can remember, there have always been two sides to the game of Fortnite, casual and competitive. And they tend to disagree quite often, but a question that I've always asked myself is, why? And I know that there are pretty well-rounded arguments from both sides as to why they should be the priority, but I'm here to tell you that this whole debate is stupid and there's no reason why it should be happening in the first place. But, in order to talk about that, we are going to need to go over a brief history of this inner community conflict and why it is more prevalent now than it ever has been in the past. So here we go. This debate has been a huge part of Fortnite related controversy since the original Season X, with the addition of the mechs, which were an overpowered item to say the least. The problem isn't that competitive players hate new additions like many casuals claim, but that it doesn't work for their playstyle. You see, casual players are playing Fortnite for the content, not the competition. Both sides of the spectrum want to have fun inside of Fortnite, but when competitive players are met with new mechanics and additions like Nitro and Cars that make the game extremely unbalanced, the competition gets worse because the game is no longer decided by a particular player's skill level. We saw this exact thing happen all the way back in Season X, and plenty of times since then, when games were being decided by mechs or another feature and not by how good the winner was at building or aiming or any other Fortnite mechanic that you can think of. It was decided by luck, really, and I believe we're seeing a similar situation this season with the cars. Especially at the beginning, if you weren't in a car, you likely weren't winning that game. For casuals, this isn't a big deal at all, it just adds more depth to the game, but to competitive players, this is a huge deal because of how much is at stake for them every single match. One of the most common quote-unquote attacks against the competitive community for their cries to nerf items is just, adapt bro. And there's a fantastic Reese Hub video that explains why this is impossible, but I have a slightly different take on the issue. And while I don't really agree with either side of the debate, it should absolutely be mentioned that this adaptation is not forced, and it shouldn't be forced. Let me explain by what I mean by that. When Epic Games removed building all the way back in Chapter 3 Season 2, it was naturally forced. This is because the gameplay was the same for everyone. The same thing happens on a smaller scale when they add things like sliding or swimming. It's not an item, it's a naturally forced mechanic. It's also worth bringing up that building was only removed for two weeks instead of being the only game mode for the entire season. But with features like the cars or the mechs, it is unnaturally forced. This is because the gameplay is different for every player, which gives the illusion of choice, but really there is only one way to win the game. Now, there have been several balancing changes, most of them have been good in my opinion, and I actually think that this season is in a much better place than it was at launch. Unfortunately, basic human nature comes into play, and nobody is happy right now, despite how much Epic has been listening to their community lately. They've constantly tried to balance out their game to meet both sides. Wait, let's run that back. They've constantly tried to balance out their game to meet both sides. That's the problem. That's it. Epic Games needs to pick a side of the community to back. You can't serve two groups. You can't make everyone happy. Or can you? In my mind, there are four possible solutions to the comp versus casual debate that I have been talking about all video long. So let's go over all of these fixes starting with the most boring, toxic, and overall worst option for the game to take. Epic changes nothing. If Epic changed nothing and just kept releasing seasons like they normally do, then future seasons will have the exact same situation that we have right now, except the controversy will grow season by season, splitting the community even further in half than it already is. This is obviously not a very good thing, and if Epic continues down this route, I don't think that there will ever be another season considered as peak ever again. Well, at least by the majority of the community. <laughs> there are tons of better options to take though, so let's explore the second solution, which is only marginally better. Fortnite prioritizes the casuals. If Fortnite put the casual player base as the main priority over the competitive side, sure, they would retain most of their player counts, but I doubt they would voice much of a happy opinion. The Sweats, on the other hand, would lose their marbles as Epic stopped listening to their viewpoints and just kept things how they were upon launch without making balancing changes. Not to mention Epic Games would lose uncountable amounts of viewers across all socials because of the high amount of competitive content creators. This is a very high risk option for a very low reward, so it's definitely the least likely route to take, but personally, I'd still prefer it over Solution 1. That brings us to Solution 3, Fortnite prioritizes the sweats. This is definitely a better option than the last, but it's still not the best. We're getting there, don't you fret. 
If Fortnite prioritizes the competitive side of their game, the game will basically be like it was in 2017 and 2018, where the loot pools would be extremely limited and new innovations would basically occur once in a blue moon. I don't see many casuals actually quitting the game if this happens, but everything would become extremely stale really fast. Remember Chapter 2 Season 1? Overall, this option isn't the worst thing in the world, but as someone who actually likes the new innovative additions to the game, it would be slightly disappointing. And here is the best option, and what I think should absolutely be done. You have definitely heard this over and over again across several socials, but that's for a reason. Just separate the loot pools for pubs and ranked. It's probably the simplest solution that has yet to be implemented, and I honestly have no idea why. It's okay to have your main BR mode be basically two separate games. I mean, that's how it was with Arena, and the loot pool is already separate for tournaments, so why wouldn't you enable the same thing for ranked mode? And to the people who are competitive and say, well, sometimes I like to play a round or two of pubs, so Epic should just remove or nerf the items in that mode as well. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Just because you play a different game occasionally doesn't mean that you get the authority to change that game. Imagine if a casual player said, well, sometimes I like to play a round or two of ranked, so Epic should add or buff the items in that mode. How mad would the comps community be? I mean, how mad are they already? But this is Fortnite. This is a game that is fundamentally meant to evolve and challenge what you think a battle royale can be. The reason it was made, the reason its art style exists, the building it says exists, etc. is to distinguish itself from other games, to be different. Different is very good thing in this scenario, and the majority of the competitive community vehemently opposes change. This debate is just stupid because of Solution 4. This is the easiest way to separate and make both communities happy, and at the end of the day, none of this should matter at all because this is a fun video game that everybody can enjoy. You should play it your way, how you would want to play the game, and no communities or companies should withhold that right from you. I hope you learned something from this video essay, and maybe you can voice your own opinion better now. Don't click off just yet though, because I have a huge announcement. I have made a second channel, but this one is dedicated to Minecraft. The first video of my hardcore series is live right now, and it will be posted tomorrow on my main channel. This won't affect my normal schedule at all, and I will still upload one Fortnite video every week. Shout out to all of my members who are up on screen right now. If you want to become valid just like them, you can support me for only 99 cents a month. But liking and subscribing is just fine if you can't do that. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a fantastic week.